We left off with this rough verse idea, which I saved over here. And I've since fooled around a little bit and discovered that I wanted to replace one of these chords. And I did that and dragged it up here as another verse idea, O2. And I also have a chorus idea, but we're going to build some more in this video. So let me right click and remove this. And I'm just going to drag in verse idea O2 that I saved. And it's the same thing, but I changed this to an F major seven. So what I want to do now is work on a chorus idea. So what I'm going to do is take this and drag it after here, the exact same thing. And I'm going to right click and go randomize chords just to get some ideas. And here it's changed a couple of them. I don't quite like what it's done there. Let me do it again. Randomize chords some more. And let's see what that sounds like. Going to C for the bridge, which is the relative major of A minor. So it's one, five, four, and then A minor, C, E minor. This might sound nice. Let's listen. I'm going to play it from the beginning. So we'll hear it with the drum groove and then transitioning into this chorus idea. It's pretty good, but I want to make some changes. I'm going to select the scissor tool where I can cut these. I want to try playing these chords twice as fast. So what I'm going to do is cut every two beats and then just manually tighten it all up by deleting every second two beat grouping and then dragging the remaining ones closer together. So by doing this, I get them two beats each, switch back to here, and let's just delete every second one. Just sort of trying an experiment here. And this is all based on randomized chords. Oh, let's hit undo. There's our little undo button over here. Like that and try that again. These are all based on randomized chords. So none of this has worked out in advance, of course. And it may work, it may not. And I'll just right click and go remove. And then I'll just bring these all closer together. And we're probably still gonna have to make some changes, but I wanna hear what it's like with this harmonic rhythm twice as fast as a starting point. Let's see where we're at here. OK, I'm liking it until the last two chords. Let's select those two and just try randomizing those. Well, maybe that's something. Now, I'm going to play it again. I didn't like some of the voicings. I'm going to just zoom a little bit here. And I'm just going to line my playhead up at bar 9 here so I can hit play in my DAW and hear it with the drum groove. So I think I didn't like this G major 7 voicing. Yeah, so let's change that. It was a bit too low. Let's try inverting that upwards. And let's get rid of that major 7 and try maybe an add 9. All right, and let's see what that's like. All right, I'm liking all the chords. I messed up this voicing a bit. It's a little too high now. And let's hear that again. All right, so I got a chorus idea here. Let me just select all of these and drag it into here. And I'll call this chorus idea two since I had one from before. Just right click. And we're good to go. So I like this double harmonic rhythm. And I was pretty happy with the nature of the way the part was played based on the style that was used here from the MIDI file. So that's great. I've got this new chorus idea in the bank now. So I'm going to end off here and we'll continue in the next video building this arrangement up.